You're watching programs on Channel Television, reaching you live from Lagos. We're going to be hooking you up right now with the Bill Gates uh, delivery of a lecture on the 14th Nelson Mandela annual lecture on the 17th day of this month. That's uh, in July this year. I will be taking you straight forward to look at some of the happenings there. The Nelson Mandela Foundation is uh, in association with the University of Pretoria, of course, is delighted to announce that Bill Gates will deliver the 14th Nelson Mandela annual lecture today. Let's go straight to that event. Place uh, just in Durban, and you know that uh, Bill Gates will give the lecture here today together with Nelson Mandela. Those were one of the things that they championed uh, fighting against the scourge of HIV and AIDS. But uh, that's all we have time for right now. Let's go inside, and uh, as the proceedings are officially about to get underway. Good evening, welcome to the 14th Nelson Mandela annual lecture. We come at the time that uh, we, we will be honoring Madiba yet again with the annual lecture. As you know, the lecture attracts distinguished people who come and address it in order to try to deal with some difficult social issue. I'd like you to please help me as I welcome to the stage our honorable guests who are coming through, Professor Njabulo Ndebele, <laughs> Mrs. Brasa Michelle. Mr. Bill Gates, the Vice Chancellor, our host, and our host for the day, Wandisa, please come to the stage. We are indeed honored to have you here today. I'd like to hand over to our host for the day, Wandisa. Thank you, Dr. Hatal. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome uh, to the 14th Nelson Mandela Annual Lecture, Mona Mamelodi. We are truly honored that you were able to join us this evening. First and foremost, I'd like to welcome and greet members of the families of people who lost their lives in the struggles against apartheid to whom this lecture is dedicated to, something the chairperson of the Nelson Mandela Board, Dade Professor Njabulo Ndebele, will address in detail in his speech. I would also like to welcome the residents of Mamelodi, Dumelangle, Lea Pila, Danki. I'd also like to acknowledge the board of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, the, Nelson Mandela, the Mandela family, the representatives of the Bill and the Melinda Gates Foundation, staff, council, senate members of the University of Pretoria, members of the cabinet, ambassadors, members of the judiciary, state officials, members of civil society, the sponsors of this event, students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you, Dumela. We are gathered this evening to honor the memory and the legacy of our late former president, liberation struggle hero, His Excellency Dr. Nelson Mandela, who established the foundation, Nelson Mandela Foundation, in 1999. The foundation currently has three main focus areas. It does memory work, dialogue work, and advocacy, and it leads the fundamental project of Mandela Day. Tomorrow is Mandela Day, right? Yes. Yeah. We're going to do good, right? Yes, but the foundation is getting us to a point where as South Africans, we don't just celebrate Mandela Day and do good on Mandela Day, but to make every day a Mandela Day. And I do hope that we'll all be inspired to create a better South Africa that we all want to live in. An annual lecture like tonight falls under the dialogue work of the foundation. And these annual lectures has, have, been going, have been going on for a period of 14 years now. 
as this one is the 14th. And the point and the reasoning behind these lectures is to get us to a space where as people we can sit around and discuss pertinent issues and solutions to the struggles that we continue to face as South Africans, as Africans and people and members of the global society. The theme for tonight's lecture is living together. For me, this theme represents a moment in which we should take time as South Africans to reflect very critically as to what it means to live together. It's a very exciting year this year that we're celebrating 20 years of our constitution. Our democracy is 22 years old. We have achieved so much as a people. We have seen schools that didn't have electricity and sanitation facilities having those we have done a lot of things as a society and we've moved very far. However, we can all agree that we still have our own challenges and struggles. We saw beginning of this year a lot of things that were unsettling on social media as far as racism is concerned. We have seen all of those. We still need to work towards transformation in all sectors. We have a lot of issues to deal with. And the question therefore requires of us to ask, with everything that has been good, which we have been able to achieve as a society, with the struggles that continue to challenge what we have achieved, how do we as South Africans then live together? How do we live together as Africans? How do we live together with the politics and the divides between the Global South and the Global North? Without sounding like the MC is trying to steal the show, we are honored to have Mr. Bill Gates here tonight who will deliver this lecture for us on living together. Ladies and gentlemen, let us officially well open this gathering by inviting to the stage the UP, the UP Quartet that will lead the national anthem. Can we all rise for the national anthem? Thank <laughs> you. 